Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is episode 6 of the Let's Play 3.0, and we're going to continue on from the last episode where we were upgrading our spellbook with the various spells, which ended up getting us rather corrupted, as you can see from our appearance. We're veins everywhere and looking rather horrible. Uh, and also our stats up in the top corner are not quite 50%. We've got a little bit, but we, we don't have much in the way of health or stamina at the moment because we're so corrupted. So as I said in the last episode, I went up to Sinner's Refuge, which is just across the water from us up there, that cave. And then near the back of that cave over there, there is two guaranteed dancer spawns. So I got a dancer for us and I've placed her over there. You can see her dancing. I've put her over there because there will be points that we will want to retain our corruption of, to a certain level. And we want to be stay corrupted while we're working about in our base. However, when we want to clear any corruption, we can then just go over here and she will start entertaining us and you can see the purple corruption is now dropping away back to zero again. And then as that goes down our stamina and our health can go back up again. Okay, while that's happening we want to discuss this item here that I've talked about in the previous two episodes and said I had to look into this but I never did. Uh, but what it is, this is a, a scroll that you get off of one of the dead sorcerers, and if we look into it, it says it will unlock the knowledge of Kahari Raider armor, and if we use it, we have learned Skelos Cult Master armor and forgotten furnishings. So if we then go into our knowledge, uh, there it is, Skelos Cult Master armor, and this is a set that Strangely enough, it requires Exile Epics to make, but it is a, a set of the Skelos Cultist armor, which is like the armor that the guys up around about the volcano wear. Um, and also we've got Forget and Furnishings, which is a set of furnishings that we can make in the Artisan work table. There's a bookshelf, abandoned table, decrepit table, questionable cauldron. Now, anybody who played the game I think it was around the end of 2021. It might have been early 2022. Funcom did a kind of one-off event, which which actually ended up being a precursor to this Age of Sorcery, where you would get various events at various locations around the map. So there would be one at the summoning place, there was one over in Flotsam, and there was one up at the Mounds of the Dead. And that event would involve a like a, a, a boss guy who was protected by a big purple dome of magic and then four like corrupted obelisks round about them that you had to destroy the four obelisks without getting too much corruption whilst they also spawned lots of mobs and when you had the four of them down the protective dome would drop you could kill the boss and then a chest would spawn and you had a chance of getting some of that armor or furnishings like a random piece but uh, now they've introduced that into the game, so you can go and craft all those items from the, from that scroll. But it appears just to be an epic version of the armor. It doesn't seem to be a normal version of it. So we're going to have to wait till level 60 before we can even look at that. Okay, now, so moving on to this episode, the next thing we need to upgrade our spell book, which we spoke about in the last episode, is Volatile Glands. So volatile glands do get dropped off of the fire imps that are along Noob River, but they're pretty rare spawn, and even if you get one, they maybe you'll be lucky if they drop one. So in the test live server, I spent quite a lot of time trying to farm them, and it's it's just not worth it. So what we're going to do is we're going to head up to this part of the river here, and possibly this part of the river here and we're going to get the salamanders up there because they they drop quite a lot of the volatile glands in, in a one -er. So we'll probably only have to kill one, maybe two of them to, to get enough for that spell. We'll, we'll 
maybe get a few more just so we've got some but uh, yeah it'll be nice and easy to get there and my plan to get up there is to use the abyssal steed that we learned last time so the one we had has now gone and I don't a hundred percent know what happens but certainly I parked it here and when I came back it was lying dead uh, but apparently after a certain amount of time, and I don't know whether it's a fixed amount of time or whether if you just haven't interacted with it for a certain amount of time, it goes like feral and it'll start attacking you. And I suspect these hyenas who are guarding just killed it. So what we're going to do is we're going to summon one, but because I don't know how long it's going to last, I'm also going to take the, the goods I need to summon another one to get back again if if required but before we do any of that i'm going to respec so in order to respec i need a yellow lotus potion and a yellow lotus potion requires 10 yellow lotus so we'll craft one of them now the problem with the yellow lotus potion is although it'll respec us and we can get our change our attributes it'll also wipe all our knowledge and we'll get all our points back from this so we'll anything we've learned we'll have to relearn again later on you can get other potions that just wipe the knowledge or just wipe the attributes but at the moment we only really have access to the yellow lotus potion which will reset everything and i'm going to change my a build and I'm going to go start going to an agility build so I can start using agility weapons now that we've got a half decent thrall to protect us uh, I'm, I'm ready to do that so the first weapon I want to do I guess I probably have to learn it right now may as well do that before I wipe my points is the steel short sword uh, hard and steel is that an ancient one no, there isn't. So the next one would be hard and steel at level 55. So steel short sword is the one we can learn just now. Let's craft that. Uh, there it is. So we'll craft one of them. And I also want to learn the daggers. So that's under skirmisher. So we have to go down to skirmisher. Daggers are also so iron, steel. There is ancient daggers at 43, so that's two levels away, but at the moment that'll do us. Steel poignards. And the Midian steel. Craft one of them. So they are also agility weapons, so along with the bow as well. So we'll get rid of that because we won't use that anymore. And we'll replace that with that. A and then we'll eventually get the daggers. Here we go. Right, I'm going to take that and I'll just keep this. Oh, I'm going to need that very soon. Right, so what do we need for that steed? So we need one sacrificial blood, ten demon blood, and ten bones. Okay, so as long as we get... So we need two of these. Put them in there, and then we'll summon that. Saw this in the last episode, so we're going to bring him forth from an unknown realm. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pick up this items, and we're going to take our. Just pick this up. There we go, and we got the materials that we need to craft it back, so we can make another one if we need to re-summon another steed. Let me just go and quickly get rid of this corruption. There we go, and then we're going to get Tessa, and we're going to start heading up north to that location. Follow, and you've got food. Okay, alright, so I will shoot across and I'm going to head up uh, up to this location here. 
Where is that? Up past the sinkhole and then down the hill. Okay. Right, I'll get up there and I'll meet you. I'll meet you up there. See you soon. Okay, welcome back. So, as some of you have probably noticed, I have crafted my agility weapons, but I never actually took that potion out of the alchemy bench. So I've come all the way up without actually respecking. So I'm just going to put that points into agility to give me something, um, which does give me 15% increased damage when I attack from behind. So if I can get Tessa to do the actual fighting and uh, I can get in behind the creatures, then we're, we'll be doing 15% more damage until I can get home. Right, so we're up here. We've come up past the Summoning Place, past Raiders Ridge, past Thugra Stand, and down onto the river. And you can see just across the river there, there is the first of, that's where we came down, and there's the first of the Salamanders. So they do spit poison, so there it goes. Oh, how did that get past my shield? Right, so short sword, lunge, stab, 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 stab. Love a short sword. Right. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? So, lunge. Stop, 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 stop. Dead. Right. Steed, get out of the way. Right. Pickaxe, pickaxe, pickaxe. So, we've got no volatile glands from him. He's just showing off exactly. What I said was not going to happen. Right, let's head along here and find the next one. Where are they? There's one in the water. So, pass up, go get. Spit, no. Nope. Okay. Come on, out of the way. Oh, don't tell me they've changed this. Oh. One. instead. Head, Icar, Volatile Gland. Two. Okay, so they do do Volatile Glands, but the axe wasn't the way to go. So when I came up here before, you were getting like 15 off of each one. When I came up here on the test live, I might have had better tools. There we go. 8, 10, 20. Yeah, so. Weird. Alright, let's see. Is there any more? Any more? Any more? I heard one. I heard one. Where is it? It is fighting. Pickaxe. Two off of that one. Weird. Alright, let's see. Problem is because they're quite low to the ground, they're quite hard to see in amongst the vegetation. Maybe I need to get on the steed, they'll be higher up. Any more? There's one. Let's 
just leveling up. I'm assuming that's the horse. More volatile glands. Okay, get rid of that stone, get rid of that. We'll keep the ichor. Is that us? Looks like it. Okay, right, so while we're out and about and we've got the horse, or the, the abyssal steed, we're going to take this chance to go and get some foals while we're, while we're mobile. So, in the previous series, I the only real guaranteed spots of foals that I was aware of were underneath this aqueduct up here, that via a pretty dangerous journey to get, or a nice simple journey around the outside of the unnamed city, up past Sepa Maru, up through the rhinos up here, and then through that gap there, and there's foals just here, and you can pop into the north, grab them, pull them back. There's maybe one or two wolves that you had to deal with up there, but other not really too bad, and then you could bring them back. However, a lot of people in the comments mentioned that this island here, just on the edge of the jungle, has a bunch of full swans just along here, which I had never really ventured into the jungle on a early game adventure. So uh, always, I'm not a big fan of the jungle full stop, but it's always a bit dangerous with the the panthers and the gorillas and stuff. But apparently, right on the edge here, where it's pretty safe. You can get foals, and that's obviously a lot closer to our base. And it's a lot closer to where we are. So we're going to run past here. In fact, let's just show you, because we spoke about in the very end of last series, the Black Galleon. And the Black Galleon is just here. That is the Black Galleon. And as you can kind of see, it is essentially a big ship, but made out of stone. And it's just full of lots and lots of thralls there we go the black galleon up there and uh, there's some anchors as you can see a camp over there you see it kind of you can see the sails so you can it's a good place to go for taming thralls let's just get this on the map here what's this called i'm gonna get it Anchor point, there we go. Right, let's just head away. See the galleon in the distance. But yeah, we're well, gonna head down head down the river and I'm gonna head over towards that beginning of the jungle and we'll go and try and get ourselves some foals and I will see you when we get there. Okay. Okay. Here we are, so we're just on the west edge of this big island, and straight away, just over there, I see my first foal. So let's hop off, and let's grab, oh, there's another one in the distance, so we're going to grab you, and we're going to grab you. Two will actually do us, but if there's any more, just just around. Grab another one. Nope, I don't really see one. So, uh, you don't actually have an inventory, do you? So, we'll put them on there because they're quite heavy. Might be heavier, yeah. So, these don't have an inventory, and I guess if it's actually going to go wild and feral on us, we probably don't want to store anything on there just in case it disappears. It's lasted a long, a long time, so I think it's possibly it will stay with you while you use it, and it's when you stop using it after a certain amount of time, then uh, it will go wild and uh, try and attack you. But anyway, we've got what we came for. So we're going to head back to the base and we're going to start, start our crafting. So I will see you when I get back there. See you soon. Okay, we've made it home. So I can get off the horse. The horse did get some level ups. 
Oh, look at that. It's level 19 just from that, but it's got plus 3 vitality, plus 6 vitality, and plus 3 agility. So it has leveled up to 622 health, but still not still not fantastic, but it got us all the way at, up uh, up here to get our volatile guns, and then we went all the way across there, and then we've come all the way back here on, on the one horse. So it's done its job. I am going to park it next to the hyenas again. So when it does go wild, hopefully that hyenas will sort it out. Uh, and we'll stand you guard here. Right. Before I forget, before I do anything else, we're going into the alchemist bench. And it's disappeared. I guess it only lasts... I think a lot of these potions only last for two minutes. So we'll craft another one. Um, and in the meantime, we'll get our circle of power back. So we'll need construction hammer. There it is. We've got all the materials we need. And we'll put it down on the edge. Right there. There it goes. There it goes. So it has went aggressive. Yeah. Oh, it's went back to 389 health as well. Uh, why are you not attacking? There we go, it's dead. So, we get horse carcass. Okay. Uh, so, where did I put my ichor? Volta glands. Right. Source of spell page. We've got. We stopped off at one of the on the way, on the way over. We stopped off at the uh, Tarman's Berth as we came down here, and got another sorcerer and got two spell pages and a map and another spell page. So three spell pages and a pouch. So that's nice. So let's put them in here. We just need spell pages. Uh, we'll need them in there. And we'll level up. Oh, we're not quite pointing at the bench. Wall of fire. Okay. Right, before we do, here we go. So it's only got a minute left. So use that. There we go. Feats reset, attributes reset. So. I'm now very encumbered because I can't move anywhere. So, as you can see, knowledge is all reset. These things are the zero, zero unlock things you get for free. But armor and all these other things, so we'll have to relearn learn them as we go. But we don't have to learn things that we don't need anymore. So we won't use up all all our points. But our attributes are now unspent. So we're going to put that straight back to ten. Uh, and we want that one. Uh, we're going to put, I can't remember what that was, we're going to need at least five in each one of these. Uh, we're going to put five in that, not six. And we'll put this one up to ten. So dead shot arrows, arrows and thrown weapons travel twice as quickly and deal 50 more damage to distant target. Precision strike, 10% additional armor pen when carrying a medium or lighter load. Hmm. Let's try that one. Uh, what well, we've got six points left. I uh, probably will need because you get carry weight from strength. So, let's, does it show your carry weight there? Yeah, so we're pretty encumbered still, so I think we're going to need another 5 in expertise to give us more carry weight. Uh, hit. That's twice as many resources. They're likely to gather rare resources when I'm... That's sufficient. Okay, so that's 295. Okay, that's better. We've got one point left, which... A, let's put that in... Vitality to give us a bit more health. Okay, right, so now we've got an agility build so we can properly use our agility weapons. 
Okay, so the next thing I want to do is get a uh, stable crafted so we can get our horses started taming. So, knowledge, survival. Gonna have to learn some prerequisites, I think. Yeah, so there's the stable. So, you need the thrall taker for that. Uh, stable master. There we go. Uh, that's with the construction hammer, of course. Uh, F. Crafting stations? Companions? It is stable. Oh, but I didn't look and see what it needed. 15 brick, 10 shaped wood, and 10 twine. So that's that's really cheap. So I think we'll actually make two so that we can get both of our foals taming at the same time. So 20 of that. Uh, let's put the bits of body in here. Where did I put my acre? I'll put the acre in there. It must be in one of the chests. Put the bones in there. Put the blood in there. Okay, right. Uh, I've forgotten how much shape wood it was. So we'll just take all that shape wood and we'll take, I think it was 15 brick. So we'll take 30. Uh, right, we'll stick it over here. So, hammer. Where's the front? That's the front. I always find it easier to line these things up from the side. You can put these on foundations to help um, decay if you're on a server with decay. We are not, so we don't need to quite worry about that. Right, we're going to need some plant fiber. You need one plant fiber per animal. Whoa. There is an event going on somewhere. Does it show you on the map where it is? So these events are very much like those events, the Grave Martyr events where I talked about before. And the Grave Martyrs, it used to tell you which location the event was, but some nasty looking tentacles coming out of the sky. I wonder where that is. Does that, does that indicate it's right over there? Which would be somewhere in that direction? There's not really anything. Summoning place is kind of off to the left a bit. Hmm, interesting. Wonder, I wonder where that is. And whether that makes any difference to where it is at all. Right, you have the foals. So give me the foals. You can only do one at a time, so put one foal in and uh, some fiber, and we'll put a foal in here and some fiber. Okay, right. Don't know how long they will take, but we'll come back to them in a bit. Right, so let's have a look at the next spell. So the next spell, oh, we never actually cast Wall of Wall of Fire or whatever it was called. So let's let's do that. Six, well, we'll need we'll need a pouch of some sort. Let's let's see what it needs. So uh, forces of nature, surely. Uh, frozen bridge. That slow fall. Oh, so this is more. Oh, no, this is one of the ones that need 20% corruption. So we have to escalate into like the next level by having 20% corruption, which probably means it needs a second level pouch. Okay, uh, let's ignore that for the moment then. Right. What I'll then show you is this part here. So this allows you, this is like um, the illusion system. So you can have an item, such as your daggers, for example, steel daggers. And you can give it an appearance. So if you've got another item that is also of the same type, so i.e. a set of daggers, or if you're using short swords or whatever, 
or these which are skins with the eye on it you can make combine them to give you the illusion that it looks like this but has the stats of this so this is a uh, illusion that was one of the rewards from the battle pass so illusionary battle balancing daggers so they look like obsidian daggers to me so if i put them in there they've got no stats on them at all this and then combine it crafted them and you still see that it's steel poniards but with a symbol on it and if i put them down here and then do seven they're steel poniards but they look like obsidian daggers so you can basically create a an illusion of a different so if you if you've got an item that you like the look of but has got poor stats uh, and you've got another item that has got good stats but you don't like the look of you can use this illusion system to make one thing look like another so we've now got steel poniards that look like obsidian daggers which is quite nice it works the same with with armor as well so you can put armor pieces in here and make one piece of armor look like another piece of armor okay uh, right to get a bit more corruption, I'm going to go and do a horrible sacrifice, because that seems to be a good way of doing corruption. Uh, so I'm going to go and tame somebody and get some of that, get some more corruption, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to do that spell. Okay, see you soon. Okay, welcome back. Yeah, I did a soul drain, which gives you 50% straight away, so look at the state of me again. Okay, so that's more than enough, more than 20%, so let's do that, and then that. So it was raw sure. forces of nature. Escalate. And then there we have... Oh, we need a cloth pouch, typical. So summon molten lava, mol molten magma from the planet's core, causing it to erupt from the ground. Ooh, okay. Uh, so, uh, cloth pouch. Uh, cloth pouch. Don't need a leather pouch. Or the burlap ones at the moment. Right, let's try that again. A spell. That one. And escalate. And then... This one, aim it. Ooh. Okay. Oh, so yeah, it, it hurts us. Yeah, okay. So I guess you could build some sort of... Like a trap that funnels things in and then cast this spell so that... You stand at one side, they'll come at you and uh, kill themselves on, on the magma. But yeah, limited use, I would suggest. Hmm, interesting. Looks cool, though. Turns away. Okay, right, next spell. Can we do it? So this needs brimstone, we've got that, and normal blood. I don't think we have normal blood, but we've certainly got the ability to make it. That's it disappearing. Uh, what have we got? This is all demon blood. Yeah. And that's wood and stone. Okay, right. So to make blood, what you can do is you can take... What's that called? Human flesh? Was it in there? No. In here? Yes. These carcasses and these human flesh, you can squish them in a fluid press and you get blood out of it. So let's learn a fluid press, which is where? There it is there. But to learn that, we need campfire, fluid press, and then that's crafted with a construction hammer. That's where I'll use that to make berry pulp as well. So construction hammer, F, crafting stations, <laughs> alchemy, really? So 50 shape wood. 10 twine, 10 iron bars. 50 of that. Ten of that. 
and ten of that. Okay, uh, where can we put it? Just side of here. There we go. Uh, and then if we take this stuff here, so the carcass that we got from the abyssal steed, we'll put that in. Are we just getting bones? What does it give us? Ooh, we got 10 blood and 25 bones out of that carcass. But I think if you put, let's see, one of these in, I think you just get one to one from them. So now that goes to 11. Yeah. So let's put. Uh, let, ah, just, let's throw them all in there. Uh, I think we needed five. And what else did we need? 20 brimstone. So in our fireball cauldron, we have brimstone. And we'll put that in and craft that. What's this one going to be? I can't remember. Creeping Darkness. Okay, what's Creeping Darkness again? Is that just the one that brings on darkness? Let me see, let me see. So, uh, yeah. Sorcery. Which one is Creeping Darkness? Channel pure darkness to surround your being. Yes, yeah, so I think all that does, it like brings a big dark area all around you. That's still going with, with I think, spider web. So like you're in the darkness so you can hide yourself from people. And there's also spider web so they get entangled in that which slows them down. Uh, I bet you it requires a high level pouch to go with it. Let's have a look. Killing death and death maybe? So that's, oh no, that's the illusion thing, so it's not that one. Try again. Try this one. Doesn't sound like a forces of nature. It must be, it must be. Alright, let's cast that again. So the third one. I suppose darkness forces of nature kind of makes a little bit of sense. So it's another escalate <laughs> one, which means it will need a different pouch. Uh, channel pure darkness and terror to surround your being. It does need a cloth pouch. So in here, a cloth pouch. Oh, so this is expensive. It needs gold dust. Did we get any gold coins or anything? No, we've got silver. Oh no, we've got gold stone. Oh, and there's a gold... There's two gold bars there. Give me a gold bar. And we'll grind that gold bar. There we go. And we'll need some bone meal as well. So let's make some... I think we need leather. some of that. Is there anything else? Nope, that's it. Uh, we can make three. Let's make some of that. Uh, is it making it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's just head over here a bit. So we can see what's going on. Did I run out of stamina because I've got so little stamina? Right, cast. Ooh. Forces of nature. Yeah, please. Escalate. And then... Not that one, that one. Ooh, get pushed up. Go. So we're we're in the darkness now. 
bit of a torch. Move about. Is there any? Uh, there we go, a spider web. So if you run through the spider web, you get crippled. As you normally would. So, yeah, I mean, I'm guessing this is more of a PvP thing again. Uh, can't see very limited usage for it in a PvE environment. How far does it reach? Watch the spider web. Does it follow me around or is it in a set area? Have I stood in? Yep, crippled again. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so it's well, it's quite a big area. I mean, that was the edge of it here, and it was all the way over there that I cast it. Oh, it's it's finished now. Okay, yeah, not brilliant, but probably useful for somebody. All right. Next. Oh, okay, right. This is where we're stopping at the moment. So blood again. We can get that blood, but alchemical base. That's expensive. So that's made in the fireball cauldron, uh, and we have we've lost the knowledge to make it. So let's go and relearn that. Uh, survival fireball cauldron needs iron tools. Have we learned it? There we go. Right. So alchemical base needs two silver dust, one gold dust, and two ichor to make one. And we need 15 of them. So that'll be 15 gold dust, which I guess we could possibly do that. We could work our way up. Same with the silver. Silver's easy to get. There is a, there is a silver mine just about here, which has got lots of silver stone nodes outside it. Um, and inside it as well, but you'll be able to get that. But you also get silver coins and silver bars all from everything all over the place. Uh, there are a whole bunch of chests in the unnamed city that gives you the silver and gold. There is all these little flecks here are sunken ships that have got treasure chests around them in the water. You can swim down and get silver and gold bars, so you can get it. But the easiest way to get lots of alchemical base because that's end game you will need tons of it for crafting armor and stuff is to find a, a level three bearer and kill the level three bearer and get their backpack because the level three bearers can have um either 500 or a thousand alchemical base in their backpacks so in the last series where i built my base in set maru just around the back of uh, here somewhere around here there was a guaranteed bearer spawn and i just farmed that killed it if it wasn't a level three until it was a level three and you very quickly get loads and loads of a alchemical base without using your silver and gold a, there's various other locations in the mounds of the dead and in the in the the den and various other places you can get them right so these guys are not quite ready yet so that's the next thing I want to do is get the horses going. But in the meantime, a horse needs a saddle. So a saddle, are saddles armor? Yes, they are. So we'll need that, but we need armorer to get that. So I'll learn that again. They didn't learn it. There we go. Uh, and then we can make saddle maker. What's that journeyman? So we can actually make better ones. But probably, I'm not sure what the materials we'll have for, for this, but we just want is the rhino saddle and the horse saddle. But we need a saddler's workstation for that. So once again, into there. F, companions, saddler's workstation. So it's 50 shaped wood, 50 twine, 50 leather. Ooh, we're running low on shaped wood. Uh, 50 twine. Tons of that. And 50 leather. Uh, oh, but I 
I'll, do, I'll stick that on the back of here. There we go. Right, and then to make a horse's saddle, a normal light saddle, 68, 75, 20. 68 is a weird number. 68 of that. So it's 75, so 70 of that. Uh, 20 of that. Do, 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 do. Yep. Craft. Okay, that'll be the sad already. Right, so I guess we now just have to wait for this to, to grow up. So I will bring you back when they're ready. Okay. Oh, in fact, I'm going to go and clean, clear myself of corruption for the moment, and I'll see you when, when I'm back. See you soon. Okay, we're back, and we've got two horses grown up. We've got one in each stable. Um, if you're not aware, there are four possible coloured horses that you can get. So we've got the, the Pinto, like this one here, the brown and white one. There's the grey one here that I had in the last episode, which was either called Smoke or Storm, I can never never remember. Uh, you get a pale brown one. Um, yeah, like a very light bit brown one. And then you get a dark chestnut brown one. So we've got a pinto and a grey one here. So I think we'll... We'll take the Pinto as our horse of choice for this series. So we'll take him, we'll stick... Uh, where did it? Oh, put him... Yeah, that's okay. Right, eight. Put the horse down. Let's get the saddle out of the saddle maker. And we'll need some... I think it's vines is the food of choice. Yeah, vines give them vitality. Uh, and we'll put the saddle in the saddle slot. And there we go. We can get on him and ride him around. Except unlike the abyssal mount, this one won't disappear. So I prefer horses over a uh, rhinos. They're a bit more maneuverable. I think maybe a bit faster. Uh, and importantly, they can jump over obstacles that rhinos can't jump. But when you hit space on a rhino, what it can do is it attacks with its horns. Horses don't attack at all. But that's not a major problem because they'll just basically run away from trouble. And uh, I don't want to tempt fate, but I've never actually lost a horse. I don't think ever. There we go, so it got a, got a couple of level up just from riding it, so level 2, it's up to 515 health, that'll, that'll eventually go up to a thousand and something or other, or a couple of thousand. Okay, right, but with my other horse, I want to do something special with it, so here you can see these undead horses, which need a horse and some sorcerer's pet food. So this is a reward from the battle pass. So battle pass level 22, you get the undead horse skin, which looks pretty gross, but also pretty cool, especially for a sorcerer's horse. Um, and to do that, you need a horse and some, so like what we did with the skin on the rhinos, uh, the rhinos, on the hyenas. So let's grab the grey one. The sorceress pet food is made in an alchemy bench. Here it is. It just needs one gruel, one yellow lotus and two aloe leaves. And there's one I made earlier. To anybody in the UK I can say in true Blue Peter style. And if the outside the UK or go, what the hell are these guys talking about? Right, so one of these will be the grey one, here it is. So there's one for each kind of, or colour of horse. There's a pinto, there's a chestnut, there's the light brown, there's the grey. 
So one of them and one of them craft. And I'll turn those two items into an undead skinned horse. There we go. Right, let's place it down. Mmm. Mmm. Lovely. Right, do you need... You need a saddle as well, so let's steal your saddle for the moment. I guess you're actually just a normal horse, so you, yeah, you eat the same food. Um, well, it's the same, same movement. It's one level up. Yeah, so. When sprinting, you get sort of slow banking turns. If you take your finger off the sprint button, you can turn really quickly. So nice and manoeuvrable, and of course, jump. And if you're standing still, hit space, it rears up. All, all very cool. Oh, sorry, hyenas. I didn't mean to, honest. There we go. It's leveled up, so... It's now 452, so it didn't get all the bonuses that the other one got, but it will eventually. It'll slowly get there. Okay, that's going to do it for today. Uh, we've been up north using our abyssal steed to go and get the volatile glands, and we've upgraded our spell book uh, twice, I think, but we're now a bit stuck because the uh, the alchemical base. I'll, I'll have to decide whether I'm going to go out and go adventuring to find gold and silver in order to get a chemical base made. Thank you. Yeah, it's a decision decision or whether, what I'll, whether I'll just wait. Uh, but we've also got over to the, the jungle and we've got a couple of foals which we've grown up. One into a, an actual horse and one we've put a undead skin on it from the battle pass. So it's still an actual horse, just looks a bit different. But yep. That'll do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit that like button. Hit subscribe. Come and join us on Discord. Chat away. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye now.